Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous midsummer day. Here in the collapse of everything, it is a uh, lovely Sunday afternoon, July 21st, 2024. So uh, I'm sure you've heard the news that Joe Biden is out of the race. So uh, <laughs> to celebrate uh, our, our, our brief sigh of relief, at least on that end, that that motherfucker is, is gone for good, thought I would come down to my creek. And uh, you guys help me figure this out. Uh, what is going on on this creek? Uh, you know, my, my dog has been... Uh, acting sick and weird lately and of course I've been sick for weeks and so I am down at this creek you know behind my house the what's called the the babbling brook on my vacation rental website this is the babbling brook on uh, July 21st this this creek has never had this shit in it uh never uh well this is my fifth summer here and, and i have never seen this uh and 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 here's what i it, here's what i do not get it seems to me that we have had you know good rainfall ever since i got here on may 3rd there has been no shortage of rain in the Finger Lakes of New York. And, and look at this, the, the creek is barely, barely flowing through this clump of grass. This is a, an official trout stream, an officially recognized trout stream, uh, according to the uh, state of New York, uh, Shandaken Creek. And uh, so last year, I'm trying to remember last year that that nice rainy summer. What happened when I got here? Well, you you can see the normal course of the creek. These rocks should be underwater when when the creek is flowing normally. So what happened last year in the summer of 2023, which everyone remembers is such a cool rainy summer, is. In the beginning of the summer, the last three weeks of spring, you know, the, 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 in the first like two or three weeks of June last year, we were like getting into drought conditions. And the creek responded by looking like this. And what also happened is my pond, all three of my ponds dried up in June of last year. Then what happened right around the first day of summer, we're talking 2023, the rains returned and uh, the rains returned and the creek just filled back up. For the rest of the summer, uh, you know, the, the creek was flowing. It was a babbling brook that you could hear uh, outside the, you know, outside of the tiny houses and get lullaby to sleep at night. There was no, I, I won't say there was no algae whatsoever, but there was, uh, there was a, uh, certainly not enough algae to remark upon. Uh, and then for the rest of the summer, the creek was flowing perfectly well. So I get back uh, in, uh, on May 3rd, I got back here, and the creek was, you know, right where it's supposed to be. It wasn't high, it wasn't low. It was just, you know, filling up the creek bed the way it is. We have had good, solid, regular rain uh, ever since I've been here. 
I would describe it as a rainy spring. We're supposed to get four inches of rain in June, four in July, you know. So uh, I, I certainly think we're getting our rain. My ponds have stayed full all summer. All three of my ponds are, uh, are pretty much full to the top. Uh, and here's what the creek looks like. I mean, look, look at this nasty shit. This is, uh, this has never happened before. I mean, look, look at this crap. Uh, so anyway, you, you, you know, you're seeing more and more signs, uh, in, in lakes around the Finger Lakes. I know, like up at Dryden Reservoir, where I was going kayaking, where the, the signs in, uh, you, you know, in upstate New York, uh, absolutely don't let your dog get anywhere near uh and and this was been going on for several years they have had signs posted at the local boat ramps in new york about uh this uh dog killing algae and uh it looks to me like i go on uh, I, I go online and i put in uh, photographs uh, of, of dog killing algae and it's and it looks just like the shit that that I'm looking at in my own creek. So, I mean, I, I honestly don't get it. Uh, how could the creek be essentially dried up when we have had normal rainfall and maybe even more above average rainfall, and my ponds are full of water? Uh, somebody sent a comment recently that they might suspect, uh, that one of my neighbors upstream have dammed the thing. I, I, I have a total of, there, there's four more houses upstream of this, uh, upstream of here, and, uh, Unless it's one of those four. Now, there are a shitload of beavers around here. Is, is there any chance that a, that a beaver dam is, is what's causing this? I mean, I'm, I'm literally grasping at straws here, guys. Uh, I am asking anybody who has an idea, uh, what the hell is going on in this creek? Right here cutting right across bugs in a jar uh, farm. Uh, you know, who needs to go uh, digging around in the doomosphere for more evidence of how we're fucked? You don't need to, to, to go online to uh, chronicle the collapse of everything. Uh, uh, all these damn dead trees I'm looking at. Oh, Jesus. We're, we're, we're just so fucked, people. We're, we're just fucked. Alright, if anyone has any ideas why my creek is fucked, I would love to hear from you. I have to go get the... the uh, <laughs> I have to go get the... Uh, Hummingbird cool tiny house beside babbling brook ready for the uh, for the next people. So this is the uh, you, you know the little the, the little deck uh, outside of uh, of the hummingbird tiny house. And we should be hearing, you know what I'm saying, we should be hearing a babbling brook from here. <sighs> All I'm hearing is the sound of silence, and I think a drone might be flying over. Anyway. Get back to the collapse of everything, but... Uh, at least we can uh, 
have a brief sigh of relief that Joe Biden is out. So, uh, of course, the big question is, are they going to run Kamala Harris? My guess is they are, as my uh, comment that I left on uh, Yahoo News about running Kamala Harris instead of Joe Biden was, you know, trading Joe Biden for Kamala Harris to uh, run Trump out of the White House is like trading your tires worth 30,000 miles uh, for a set of tires worth 31,000 miles. It, it, it makes no difference. It's trading the frying pan for the fire. Donald Trump and now J.D. Vance uh, are going to waltz right into the uh, White House even more easily uh, w w with Kamala Harris than, than Joe Biden. And... Uh, but the the latest wrinkle there seems to be a question uh, is it is it too late for any new person to get on the ballot donald trump is going to be the new president uh of uh, of this goddamn country but instead of mike pence we have jd vance uh god we've traded mike pence for jd vance oh fuck Anyway, enough of that horse race. I got to clean up the tiny house by the babbling brook while I still can. Bye, guys.